We have put forward a plan where we both invest in oil and gas, but also increasing the investments uh, in renewables. Uh, but it needs to be profitable renewables. Uh, we are focusing on, uh, on uh, offshore uh, wind, but also invested uh, recently in onshore solar and uh, onshore uh, plants. And uh, this quarter, we are presenting a uh, um, uh, income of $46 million uh, for, for this business, and it's increasing. So uh, we are doing both to ensure that we have a balanced energy transition, that we're able to deliver the energy the world needs today. At the same time, we're investing in what the energy the, energy the world will need uh, also in in the future. Yeah, you're certainly on the cusp of, of, of really significant moves when it comes to this and could really play the foreground in what is uh, uh, what does an energy transition really look like, particularly with government and consumers playing their role? What is your sense of, of that part of the transition? Do you think that that is coming uh, into play here? Are enough people sort of, you know, playing their part as well in this partnership? Well, to, to be able to do the energy transition, you know, everyone needs to uh, participate and need really, really would need to work together. We need governments, we need industries, uh, we need consumers. Uh, we have to admit that uh, uh, to, to do this will take time. We have a very efficient energy system built up over many, many, many years. And now we are transitioning into another energy uh, system. This will cost. Uh, and it's important to make sure that while we are transitioning, we have enough energy in the system such that it's affordable right. uh, and that over time it can be more sustainable. So we need right. to find that balance such that everyone can uh, participate.